Okay, everybody. Say hello. Say hello, YouTube. Say I'm new. I'm Megan's new puppy. I'm a pit bull puppy. What's his name? Dolomite. Dolomite. This is Dolomite, guys. Say hey, YouTube, and say I have a very serious problem. Say I have a deer tick on my stomach. It's right there. Can we see? Can they see it, Meg? Is it showing up in the camera? Yeah. Okay. It looks like a nipple. It's it's right there. And it's attached. And so, and say, I need my fingernails trimmed. And, and, and I probably could use my anal glands cleansed from my puppyhood. And so, we're going to, uh, uh, um, you remember the bar of soap in, in the bathroom I was talking about? I forgot to get one of those, Meg. Anyway, so we're going to give the, uh, we're going to give the puppy a bath and with my cedar wooden tea tree soap and this is the cedar wooden tea tree soap and um, it has cedar wood and tea tree essential oil in it and my website is essential-soaps.com and that's plural essential-soaps.com Yes, and you can uh, buy the soap. This is what it looks like. It's an all-natural product. We use all-natural things. It's actually colored with slippery elm spice, which uh, are ground slippery elm bark, excuse me. And so that's what makes it brown. We don't use any fragrances, no dyes. It's super fatted with organic unrefined shea butter, organic coconut oil, first press, cold press, extra virgin olive oil. It also has vitamin E and vegetable based glycerin added. So it's very moisturizing. It's great for your skin. You can take a bath in it. It kills head lice, fleas, ticks, deer ticks, uh, no seams, chiggers, critters of all kinds running around on your skin. and it wards for a, for people. It will ward um, the cedarwood smell wards uh, bugs. Uh, you know everybody's been putting their things in their grandma's cedar chest to keep bugs away, and so it's sort of like taking a bath in your grandma's cedar chest. For dogs, I find that you can give a dog a bath in lavender. And it'll smell like lavender for a very short period of time because the dog's natural odor comes through quickly. So as long as they smell like cedarwood, the fleas won't like them, but they don't smell like cedarwood for very long. Are you sleepy? Oh, you're sleepy, aren't you? He says, yes, I'm sleepy. So what we're going to do is we're going to give um, him a bath in our cedar wooden tea tree soap and see if it kills the deer tick. It's, it's going to be warm water dogma, dogamite? Dolomite. 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 I'm no good at names. Well, where's the hot water at? Huh? There it comes. It's very difficult to get at a good temperature for puppy. Are you getting the heck out of Dodge? Huh? Say puppies have tender skin. There we go. All right, now, please will attempt to run into the eyes. And I didn't see any fleas, but so putting a little bit of Vaseline on his eyes and a little bit of Vaseline around the lips because they will run and try to hide in the mouth. So that would that would make the stock so that they get stuck in the Vaseline. 
And so, okay, so here we go. We're going to get wet. Are you running? He says, I'm getting out of here. So I'm getting out of here. So I'm getting out of here. He says, let's get out of here, Mama. This woman's doing mean things to me. And this is just a scrap bar of my cedar wood and tea tree that I cut in half. One of the end pieces. And we're just going to lather up our dog. I know. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Get our, oh, yes. He says, run, everybody. Run, run. And we're going to lather up our dog really, really good because we want the foam to be very foamy and stay very prevalent on the skin. And this is also going to kill any flea that's on there. Oh, give me a, a take for two minutes. And now I tell people with young, small breed puppies, um, you want to um, make sure that you don't use it too much because tea tree is not perfect when it comes to, um, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's natural, it's made from tree, but still, it's toxic if swallowed in large amounts. Oh, I've got my first flea. Let's put him, let's put him right here. Where'd he go, Megan? He was on my fingers. He says, I'm getting, I, I think I lost that flea. It got, oh, it got away from me. Oh, well. It was pretty much dead already. Fleas go pretty quick with this stuff, but I say with puppies to leave it on for two minutes um, and everything. And the Vaseline normally keeps it from burning the eyes, um, but he's complaining with one eye. So, let's just check that out. Let's see. There we go. It might have just been he didn't like the sensation. There you go. And then we'll lather back up. And you saw what to do if you get water in the eyeball. Flush with water with the sprayer. Cold, warm, gentle, warm water. But the, I just didn't get enough Vaseline in there. Normally the Vaseline keeps it from, um, from burning the eyes. And how many minutes has it been? It's been two minutes. All right. I didn't, when I told you to, to mark it, I hadn't got the face done yet. So we'll give it just a little bit longer. And now we'll do the anal glands. Meg, you help me see if it's in camera. <laughs> is, that in, is that in camera? Yes, it's in camera. Okay, let's, I, I tell you, we're going to have to do that differently. I'm going to have to get on the other side of the camera. Hang on, guys. It's okay. It's okay. All right, so we're going to pick up the tail and squeeze. <laughs> And say, out came the, and that cleaned the anal glands. There you go. You didn't have much in there, but some puppies can have a buildup from being a puppy. And it's good to do it when you first get them. And Megan's going, run, everybody, run. <laughs> watch it. She says, she says, get out of Dodge. Okay, now. Let's see, Meg, is that deer tick still sitting there? Yep, it's still sitting there. And deer ticks, I always recommend five minutes. But since he's just got one, um, let's see with two minutes if he's dead. And because, say, I'm a little puppy, so five minutes might not be so hot for you. What do you think? It's been about three minutes? Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Here we go. Let's get you rinse. Oh, there's some fleas. There's two fleas. Oh, and there's another one down there. I'm going to put them on the side of the sink, and I'll show you them, guys. Okay, is it good? Yeah, that's a good temperature. All right, here we go. I know, I know, I know. You saw, you saw a flea? Yeah. Oh. There. You see it? there we go. I'll show y'all guys those fleas we've been getting off. Let you see how dead as a doornail they are. This soap is awesome for like a rescue facility because it's like a one time get them off of them in a more natural way without chemicals. All right, here goes. We're going to protect the nose so he can breathe, but we're cleaning the eyes out real good. We're going to do the ears. I know. All right. Now we're going to do the nose. We're going we're gonna to hold his nose. There we go. So he didn't get no water up the nose. He says, gosh, that woman's rough. Okay, you give him a good drying over. Well, no, wait. we got to look. Uh, there it is. So let's get the tweezers first and get it off. So hang on, guys. Um, oh, we got water on the on the um, the screen. Let's see. Yeah. Hang on, everybody. There. Now you can see better. Okay. So if you'd come and stand right here and hold him up, then I'll see about getting that off. Just watch about them dead fleas right there and don't let them get knocked off in the sink. Okay. Okay, I got it. I'm going to put it right down here with our fleas or attempt it. See if it'll come off the tweezer. Okay, hang on, guys. I gotta put the I gotta put this thing down. Okay. Okay. He looks dead to me. And that was what about three, about four minutes actually on the legs. Yeah. But the face got about three minutes. And you know, those things run like crazy when you pull them off and let go of them. They're fast. It looks dead to me. And all these fleas look very dead. But we're going to come back and see if they stay dead or if they're playing possum. Okay, so let's show how to trim his toenails. Okay. There we go. We'll keep him blanket and all. He says, Gosh almighty, that woman's rough. And and y'all saw that he got his eye was stinging and I literally just with the with the water temperature down, I literally just sprayed in his eye and look, immediately he quit burning. It was just I know it's it sort of looks rough, but it really does work to make the dog <coughs> have instant happiness but you do have to you know make sure your temperature is real tempid aren't you cute okay now I use uh, fingernail trimmers or toenail trimmers it I like to go with the fingernail trimmers because it's a smaller blade but some breeds of dog what is it what is that no you're not eating it Okay, so now what I do is, 
is I take, and you'll see the red to the white ratio on the white, but on these black, on the, the ones that's dark brown or black, you can't see. So what I do is, is I just pull it until I catch the little tip. So I just stick it in there and pull back just till it catches and just catch that and just take off that little uh, curl on the end and that way you're safe that you don't get into the quick. That's right, because we don't want to get in the quick. So we're just going to take off that little curl right at the end. If your dog, if you should cut too deeply and it should bleed, don't put alcohol on it immediately because alcohol will make it bleed more. You want to uh, hold a paper, t hold a um, you know tension or like squeeze it a paper towel and get it to quit bleeding and then after it's quit bleeding you know like an hour later go back and put some alcohol on it because al and you could put triple antibiotic ointment on it but alcohol makes them makes it bleed more uh, right away if you put alcohol on the toenail that where it's it's bleeding so I know I've done this a little while and he says, give me back my foot. Give me back my foot. Uh-oh. Just got half of that one. Okay. You're all done. You're all done. Now, another thing you can do is take Q-tips to the ears and alcohol. Would you go get me a couple of Q-tips and the alcohol out of my bathroom? I think the alcohol's sitting around the counter, and the Q-tips is in a, a jar on the counter. Yeah, we need to get your ears all nice and dry. Did you see me take the sprayer to the ear because his ear was, was really dirty? But, like, when you go swimming at, at camp, they always put alcohol in your ears to prevent swimmer's ear or fungal infections. And so you can do the same thing to your dog. And what you do is, is you pour a little bit in the cap, and you put it in the ear, and go swishy, 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 swishy. There we go. I'll show you again. And then take your Q-tip and just <laughs> roll it around in there. And it's not so much get. Ooh it's not so much getting the funk out with the Q-tip. But drying out the water and just getting out the immediate stuff right at the at the beginning of the eardrum. All right, let's do the other ear. One down, and this prevents ear infections and fungal infections, or what some people call swimmer's ear. Pour it in, and then go swishy, 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 swishy. Then stand back, cause I'm gonna sling it everywhere. And then just roll the Q-tip. Oh gosh, you're wiggling so much. And I'm being really careful not to go deep. See how I'm, I'm holding it so it can't go deep? And say, I'm just cleaning out just that little initial area. Don't go deep down in your puppy's eardrum. Because you can burst things and do mean things to puppy's ears. Okay, so let's go over here. Are you ready to go back to Megger's? He's having a fit. There he goes. Okay. Okay. Now, let's look and see what we got here. There's our fleas, guys. And they're dead as a doornail. And that's our deer tick. And it is dead as a doornail. It would be running like crazy if it was alive. So, we have managed our feet, we've washed the puppy, cleaned its anal glands, trimmed its fingernails, cleaned and made sure it didn't have water in the eardrum that could cause an infection, and cleaned out just the outer area of the ear. So, puppy's all ready to go. And Megger's got him in the rocking chair. I gotta show you. Hang on. Okay, Megger's. Say hi to you two. Hello. Tell us about the pup and Well, we had I think three days now. Uh huh. He's just so little. I'm He's... spoiling him. <laughs> and say, I'm much happier now that Kim does not have a hold of me. 
So that woman's rough. So I'll never come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Are we going to worm him today? If, if you want it. Okay, I'll give you some wormer so you can worm him. Okay. Did you know that legally I can't worm somebody else's dog or give them shots? Okay. But I can give you the stuff and let you do it. It's got a shots, but we just... Haven't wormed him, so I'll give you some warmer, and you can worm him. Thank you. Just so you know about the ethical procedures here, guys. Okay, I'm going to show you my soap. Okay, everybody. Those fleas and the deer tick is dead. And, whoop. And here is my Essential Depot bottles. I use, and I got the bottles totally drenched. But it's Essential Depot Cedarwood and Essential Depot's Tea Tree Essential Oil that goes into my Cedarwood and Tea Tree Soap. If you go to Google and search Essential Soap, I'll be the first website that pops up in my YouTube channel also. And this is what the bar looks like. It's 4.8 ounces, an inch thick, and totally rustic and natural because we're natural soapers. Okay, everybody. I hope that you'll try some of my soap and kill the fleas and ticks or the head lice or the no sims or the chiggers or whatnot in your life. And um, there is washing instructions on the website on this soaps page for dogs and people. Okay, thanks for watching my video. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for leaving your comments. Um, if you're going to purchase something from Essential Depot, thank you for using my link that is in the description. And everybody have an awesome day. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. They are still dead as a doornail.